Okay, video number three. We are going to add a piano or synthesizer or something like that to start to create some, some actual music over the beat that we've created. So far, we've just got drums. Um, so I want to add a new track and get piano or keyboards. And this loads up as just a basic piano. And again, letters across the bottom, letters and numbers across the bottom, um, correspond to the keys on the keyboard. Um, so what we are going to do is lay down some chords on top of this. Now chords are any two notes or more that are played together. So that is the most basic chord in the world, uh, or at least the most well-known, I would say. It's the major C chord. Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into music theory here or tell you too much about why it's called the major C chord, but just know that the bottom note is called the root note, and that's on C. And that's why it's called the major C chord. Well, major has to do with the sound of it. So this is a major chord, and a chord with a slightly lowered second note there, slightly lowered third is what they call it, is a minor chord. So here's a minor. Again, here's a major. Here's a minor. The minor chord is said to be slightly darker or sadder or spookier sounding than the major chord. And then you can even go up. So, uh, but chords really are anything you want them to be. Any two or more notes can be a chord. Um, some of them are very, you know, maybe to your ears, very nasty sounding. Uh, some of them might be very nice sounding, uh, but they are all chords. So we're just going to play something very simple. Um, in fact, I'm going to keep it extra, extra simple and only do two notes, two notes at a time. Um, probably something like this. Major third, minor third, augmented, I think, third. Augmented is where it goes up. And then back to the major third. And that's all I'm going to do is that in a, in a loop. That's my whole pattern. Now, I do want you to come up with your own pattern. Um, please don't um, make a song that has that exact same chord structure to it. I want you to go off and find your own. Uh, again, I am fine with you copying this simple beat because it's a beat that's used in millions and millions of songs. But this chord pattern I created is an example and I want you to find your own. Or else you'll basically be making the exact same song as me. All right? Now, I don't really want this um, to be a piano, so I'm going to find something that sounds a little bit softer. Maybe let's try the roads. And there we go. Yeah, that sounds nice. The piano is a little too sharp for me. So, I'm hitting record. Oh, got to turn on my metronome so it counts me in. And here we go. Metronome turned down. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oh, you know what? This bar had turned from purple to gray. I must have clicked on it at some point. So I've got this this um, blank space at the end here of the clip I just recorded that I don't want. If this had been purple up top and I hit record, as soon as it got to the end of the eighth measure, it would have automatically stopped for me and made a nice clean clip that we could loop over and over. But since it did this, I need to either split it. So again, I click on it, right click and say split region, or instead of doing that, the other thing I can do is grab here, this adjust end. So not up here, the loop button, but down here and pull it back. And there we are. Uh, I'm going to quantize this because my playing was just the tiniest bit sloppy. So again, that's edit. You hover over it, you click edit, go to quantize and choose 1 16th. Anything besides the most, most basic beat on earth, um, you should typically choose 116th for. That's, that's my recommendation. 
So I'm hitting that. All right. Yeah, it sounds nice. All right, cool.